Um, I'm the kid, and this is my video tutorial on how to add, well, how to make boats float in your map. Uh, okay, here's my map. I'm not good at modeling, so it looks like crap yet, but that's besides the point. Um, so this is what you're gonna do. <clears throat> you can see you have your water plane right here the water plane and if you don't know how to make a water plane all you do is you make a plane name it water exclamation point and then the cache mark and then when you go into um, um, the material editor it's you'll make a new one called water and then yeah and you just apply uh, 256 by 256 white bitmap to it. <clears throat> and then you make a water shader. But I'm not going to go too much into detail how to do that. Anyway, here is the how you make the collision plane. We're going to make a new plane. Okay. Like that. And we're going to move it down. to make sure that it's properly lined up because it's gonna be like this okay and it doesn't really matter which way you put it this is all you need to do when you're moving it you're gonna see like these down here X Y and Z axis we want to have the Z axis negative um, 25,600 so it's going to be like that, okay? Yeah, so, just to make sure. Uh, yeah. That's all it needs to be on the z-axis. And, see, you can, I think the water is a little high for it, so you can move it down. But, personally, what I do is I move it, the water, a little bit up, so it kind of looks like more realistic so the boat is actually submerged in the water rather than just like it looks like it's riding on glass and what you're gonna do to the plane is you're gonna name it this collision and then the at symbol like at aol.com now we're gonna go in the material editor uh, sorry uh yeah we're gonna go in the material editor and we're gonna well, you can also just hit the M key, and we're going to make a new material, and it's going to be called this. Plus, unused, um, and then collision, and then the at key. And yeah, so plus, unused, collision, and then that, and I guess you could do the same thing like with the skybox, just make it whatever color you want. And then what we're going to do is link all this to the frame. Now I'm not going to show you how to export it because it's literally the exact same thing like as a normal map exporting it but I'm going to show you what it's like when you're in Sapien. How it's going to act. Towards Sorry that it's taking so slow. I don't know why, but somehow I always have trouble when I'm filming. My computer's not a piece of crap either, believe it or not. I think it's taken so long to load, because I was just seeing what it would look like, and uh, I added a few bipeds in here. About 20, actually. They were dead, so... 
That's why it's taking so long to load. You can fast forward if you want. Okay, finally, my retarded computer learned how to open Savian. Here's what the map looks like so far. By the way, these aren't really floating. They're gonna be real vehicles soon. That's just scenery to let you know. Here's what the vehicles look like. And don't worry about that error. <clears throat> That's just because the vehicle I'm using right now, it's got, obviously, invalid modifier shader. But yeah, so... That's how it works. Here. And if you can't really understand what it looks like, here, I'll add a warthog into the water. That's a vehicle called the hippo. That's like throwing a tank in the water. But I just chose to, um, have the collision plane a little bit underneath the water, or the water a little bit higher <clears throat> than the uh, collision plane. See, you never want to move the collision plane from the negative 25,600 like, degrees on the axis. You always want to keep that the same. If anything, you want to raise the water. So yeah, that's just what it looks like. And that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. Okay, so yeah.